You've probably seen the static keyword everywhere. Um, it's kind of used a lot. And when I was in college, they never explained it to me. And it was only a few months ago that I really understood what it was. But through college, I just kind of like put static there just to like, cause I knew it worked. I didn't know why or how, but I didn't care cause I just wanted to pass the class and get my program to work. So if you're in that same boat, but want to know what static is, so you know when to use it and don't have to guess all the time, then this is the video for you. If you're new here, my name is Alex. I make Java videos on this channel every single week. So if you're new here and you might be interested in that, then please consider subscribing. Okay, let's start learning about the static keyword in Java. First, let's just go to new Java project, call it something like static TV because that's a pun and I love puns. Right click on source and go to new class together. Let's call it static -y. I don't know. Click the main method and then hit finish. So in your Java class or on your projects, you may have had to do global variables, which kind of look like this, where you have basically just a variable up at the top. Usually we make variables in here and then use it kind of like this. But if we tried to print out a global variable to do the exact same thing, but the variable is out here, we can't do that. We get errors, we get this red underline. It's not what we expect. Since A is in the same scope as this print statement, we should be able to just print A, just like we print B. This main method gets executed when we click the green run button. And the reason we have a variable up here is because if we have other methods that aren't the main method, we may want those to use A as well. So how do we get around this? What if we want our main method to use A? We get this red underline and if we hover over it, there's this little message that says, cannot make a static reference to the non-static field A, which probably sounds like a bunch of baloney, it's just gibberish computer terms. And it says there's this quick fix available, change A to static. If we click that, the static keyword comes up here and looks like the error is fixed. So if we save it and run it, then we can print A. But why does this work? What does this keyword do? Well, to uncover what this does, let's get rid of it for a second. And let's try to use A without that quick fix. To do it, you would have to create the class. So our class's name is staticy we need to create an object with it. So we have to say static -y s equals new static -y. This can be whatever name you want. And then we would have to print out s dot a, save it and run it. So basically it's not pretty. What we're doing is we're creating this so that this object has access to a and we can access it that way. But that is very annoying and nobody wanted to do that all the time. So they invented this keyword static, which basically says that you don't need to do that anymore. You don't need to create a static -y object and then do s.a to grab that variable. You can just say static in front, which lets all the methods know that you can just access it just like B, or just like any other global variable. You don't need to do those extra two or three steps. To be honest, I don't know why it's called static. Static to me means standing still. Like if you are static, you aren't moving. So I thought maybe static, like does that mean this variable doesn't change? Does it stay at the top? I, I don't know how they came up with the word static to mean this, but again, it just means to treat this variable up here just like any other variable, which you can use however you want. You can do math with it or whatever. It works exactly the same as a variable inside, but the scope is increased. So that's why you create global variables. They'll have this static keyword and a common use case for global variables is like if I have a calendar app, and I know the months and the year never changes, I can just say months equals 12. And that's an integer. So instead of saying 12 everywhere, I can just say months. So global variables help with that. And then the keyword static helps you not have to make an object the whole time to use that. 
Let me know if I cleared any confusion in the comments or just even a simple like on this video. You guys have been showing so much support. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. Like, my views have been crazy. For a whole year, um, I posted one Java video every week, every Thursday at three o'clock for an entire year. And my views were kind of like this, like slowly coming up. But within the last month, it went to this, like crazy amounts. Like I got 16, no, like 10,000 or 16,000 views in one day. And it's because my Learn Java in 13 Minutes video got um, on the homepage of a lot of people. So thank you for all the support on that video, especially. And yeah, keep expecting new content. Um, I'm not gonna stop anytime soon at all. Thank you again and have a great rest of your day. See you in the next video.